Yeah, and uh, it's good to be here with my advisor and all my course mates. I am uh, the current Sino uh, British scholar from the Curating Program at King University and Design Media. And I was in Shanghai uh, where I met Ning. Uh, Ning is the current curator of China Art Museum in Shanghai. Welcome. Control everything in the country. Uh, 
Um, so we were in this part about cultural revolution. Uh, what's your first concept about China? I think not only Western but also in China, people think the most important color is red. Um, he can regard it as red uh, through political uh, groups, small group performance, and through Zhong Shan suit, black black vision. As the typical image about China, we have to talk about one uh, Western artist, Andy Warhol. And uh, the first uh, Western artist he used Mao with these books and uh, Chinese uh, tree in 1980, in 1982. And Warhol relied on a copy of Mao portrait photography in the leader's literate self of uh, the book of Idiotic, uh, sorry, Idiotical uh, quotations to create his paintings. Later, did he know but, uh, that he would uh, inventory a type of a photo in front of the original portrait and in Beijing's Tiananmen Square. His trip to Beijing was an unexpected by the case of a visit to Hong Kong. Someone uh, named uh, Alfred Hume had invited him to the city to attend the opening of a nightclub. This nightclub de uh, decorated by, uh, with portraits of Britain's Prince Charles and Greek, uh, Princess uh, Diana that he had uh, commissioned uh, from the artist. Upon Warhol's uh, right, Hume announced that he had uh, arranged a VIP trip uh, to Beijing for he and his friends. And uh, his friends of Andy uh, remember, as Andy would say, he didn't have to well in any seat. Uh, notoriety and uh, fame is a double issue too. You have no privacy. Uh, you can get a look uh, for all of the pictures. Uh, everything is kind of in that, uh, in that period. Red, Small and uh, some uh, very typical um, style about modern Beijing opera. I think that most uh, Chinese people uh, and uh, even young, uh, they know about all the things. It's very important to research uh, in today to know about uh, the basic history of art, of modern art. There are some famous figures in the new movies. And we call the uh, style in vision art uh, named the red, smooth, and light. It has a role in uh, literature, visual arts, drama, songs. Uh, it means careful with writing eyes and social sheets. Red child. Some Chinese painting um, is described uh, some history people uh, very uh, very happy for a uh, sign and uh, some think about prison uh, and uh, revolution people uh, starting by themselves and something about the uh, farm and something about the uh, development of the country and the uh, different kind of the history uh, historical painting and uh, many 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 uh, events about now in different period of the and uh, you can uh, you can get to know all of the painting uh, use the uh, color of red. And about the architecture, Changjiang uh, Bridge is over uh, Changjiang, uh, the first long uh, river of China. And the sculpture, some typical uh, sign of body. 
and uh, the most important thing to uh, popular to know uh, red posters. And uh, each of a uh, family and each of person in China that in that period that they have the poster uh, to us uh, decoration in the home and uh, have the letter red book in, uh, in their hand to read it every day. And some very uh, famous uh, film and uh, uh, drama there. And uh, in the right, the uh, post is, collect, uh, is collected by our museum. Uh, they have, it has uh, two names, I think, yes. Uh, one is Mao, uh, China Mao uh, Long Life. Another one is Mao Mao Long Life. It's a uh, different kind of, uh, you know, in the world, uh, government always uh, control the and the content of uh, artworks. So uh, many things uh, will be changed in several times, uh, such as this post and uh, uh, you know the the opening ceremony of the new country is changed several times by uh, by government command. And the very famous song in China, uh, I bought a fly pants in and uh, gave it to the police. <laughs> the many, yeah, Chinese can sing it and read posters. Uh, yeah, learn English. It's very simple, but it's practical. Uh, why we study? Uh, we just want to uh, do service for the country, not at all. And uh, some red posters for a new life in the new country. Uh, I think in North Korea they got some uh, example from Ch uh, New China, and the uh, daily life is the true life in uh, in, China, uh, in Chinese people's life. Uh, as you know, uh, we just uh, saw uh, many pictures about red, but in the real life, people uh, wear the uh, blue Zhongshan suit. So it's much different because uh, the economy is uh, and the economy and uh, uh, many things uh, you use in life is special supply uh, such as food, clothes, uh, furniture, uh, host, uh, household applications, bicycle, watch, something, even a uh, cream. I, I think. It's, uh, yeah. And you can see everywhere people will uh, to buy something uh, with special tickets, uh, not only money. <coughs> uh, in the corner, the upper, uh, that one is a uh, shop there, and people go there to select something. And you can find in that period, uh, you uh, enter uh, each of the store and the shops there in China, you can find a uh, it's not much different, and uh, everything is the same, and uh, the same price and same things there. In this country, uh, something is being changed by uh, the government. Uh, the beginning is uh, 19, uh, 1979, uh, the sign of uh, and U.S. relation revealed again, and. Uh, all the things about uh, culture and art is being changed. Uh, the, the very uh, technical is guard art and rural realism. And the uh, realism in China is uh, traditional uh, since the new China uh, in 1949. <coughs> uh, the very famous one is uh, people to uh, review the um, cultural revolution. Uh, what is what is uh, destroyed to this country and uh, uh, make some scar to the people in China. Um, another kind of uh, art is focused on rural and uh, peasant. This one is Chen Danqing. Uh, he penned this in 1980s and then he uh, lived, to, uh, lived in USA. Uh, and change his style. And a uh, very famous one uh, about uh, realism is uh, by Rodney. 
Uh, this one is collected by the Nomoka in Beijing, National Museum of Art. And this one is a uh, shock to that uh, to people at that time because um, uh, before this painting, all persons think the art and the art pieces must uh, describe the happiness in the life, not only, uh, you know, just uh, I talk about uh, the red, smooth, and the light. Uh, this kind of painting is uh, very uh, real to describe the uh, sadness, uh, the scar, and uh, some not very good things in the life about a uh, real peasant in China. It's a very big one. Uh, I think, yeah, this size is uh, normally uh, like the original one. So it's very impressive one uh, in modern uh, art history in China. And another one, uh, this one is rural realism. Uh, and this, at that time, uh, young people in China, they, they like to uh, read the books because uh, they want to say something uh, uh, since uh, Cultural Revolution. And, uh, uh, they like to learn from the Western culture about the poem and the songs. Uh, they feel some uh, sadness about life, but uh, they are beautiful and uh, about uh, similar uh, like the American uh, artist wise. But it's much different because I think uh, Hodorin doesn't know about wise at that time, but it's similar. Another one about Hodorin, uh, by Hodorin. And uh, Wu Fanzhong, uh, he's, uh, he's not very young at that time, but he made a uh, very young type, typical uh, art uh, about between the abstract and the realism and some uh, new, new sign uh, in art. The stock group is a uh, starting of uh, contemporary art, I think. Um, it's, uh, as we all know, in 19th century, uh, French salon, art salon, uh, the COVID uh, is uh, forbidden to attend the salon uh, exhibition. And in that time, stock Stars group, they regard themselves like Dobe in China at that time, and they, when they refused uh, to attend, to join the exhibition, and they uh, gather a uh, group exhibition outside of the mark. The building uh, on the behind is the uh, is the Namak, uh, National Art Museum, and they want to fight with the organization by government and they want to show something by themselves. Uh, we, can, we can get something about very modern things from these pieces, much different uh, with, uh, with, with those rural uh, realism. And woodcut is very uh, popular kind of the artwork and something much different and new the body. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a red box to, to enter in China. And the new ways in 1985 is uh, um, just like a beginning of, uh, you know, uh, by the end of 1989, uh, we think uh, it's an ending of uh, new ways. So uh, in this period, people uh, people learn something and uh, create something about modern life in China, and very unique painting style and uh, abstract and some installations. I will talk more in uh, detail about shooting later. Xu Shenzhong from a national, uh, some traditional uh, artwork. Uh, and a return to some type of imagination.
something um, performance art in Beijing. Uh, it's a very important part, but uh, let's talking about uh, in uh, in some books because. Uh, but we can find uh, something uh, in Western, yeah. Some performance on in Beijing uh, about rock, raw and rock. And uh, the last supper, uh, the performance are in Shanghai. The first one and the last one uh, in in the uh, modern between the modern art and the uh, contemporary art <coughs> the sites. Uh, the very famous performance one is Timothy. Uh, the female artist named uh, Xiao Lu, uh, she take a real bond and she is at the uh, exhibition in the mark in 1989. It's the, the result to the ending of that exhibition. Is, uh, from, that, uh, from that, the contemporary art made the very dangerous to the government. And uh, it's closed. And uh, until 1990, uh, the con contemporary art begins uh, by, uh, I think, by some uh, personal uh, exhibition, not very good one in, uh, in the National Museum again. And then Chen Desert, 1990 to 1999. Uh, the very famous curator. Uh, in China, Li Shenzi, in Beijing, and uh, he find uh, many uh, young artists uh, in their time and uh, uh, introduce them to international, uh, such as like <coughs> Binali or something, to attend the exhibition in the, in the world. And there is some information about the political pop.
and use some unique materials on silk, on fur, on grass. I do that one. Okay, uh, I will talk something about the national music in China. Um, in contemporary uh, period, uh, Chinese governments they want to reduce the uh, music systems in China. And there are uh, just for example in Shanghai, uh, we have Shanghai Museum, uh, 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 the Museum of Asian Chinese Art, uh, and uh, you can look the objects in galleries. And uh, this my museum now. China Art Museum Shanghai focuses on modern art and contemporary art. <coughs> it's, uh, the exhibition is co curated by me uh, with Museum Dorothy in France about uh, 19th century uh, branch naturalism and uh, the collection from Dorothy Museum. And a very new one, Power Station of Art. It's a contemporary museum, uh, opposite to uh, our museum over the uh, river. And uh, it's about contemporary art. And uh, uh, it will keep on the uh, Shanghai Binali uh, as its main uh, project. And you can visit it in the future. It's, uh, it's a kind of uh, similar kind of uh, Tate modern. And inside, uh, what's happening? It's very new one exhibition. And uh, fortunately, uh, we have three uh, students from Kingston University, uh, my course, uh, from uh, professional Catherine. And uh, three uh, Chinese girls uh, joined uh, the project and the Earth internship. Uh, they, I think that it's the first time to them to, to attend a real project and they do some, uh, you know, cooperate, uh, coordinate uh, during the project. And uh, um, this project is uh, curated by Li Xu and uh, the vice director of Power Station. Uh, yes, uh, like a review to Chinese uh, contemporary art by unique uh, thing about a portrait. You can have a look at some chapters of exhibitions. But I think the portrait in this uh, exhibition is much different to uh, the portrait meaning in uh, Western culture. Uh, it's more uh, about the face, the body, uh, the spirit inside. And you can find some details if you like from the website about uh, power station. There are many uh, pieces and uh, uh, something details about it, this exhibition. And uh, some parts of objects. Something you see, uh, you saw already. And the uh, sculptures by Yemi trees outside. <coughs> Inside of the gallery. It's very modern uh, design for the galleries. And some uh, photographies. Installations, sculptures. Glasses in the, uh, in installations. And I would like to. Sorry, I don't know how many times I have. Nicole, thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, the second part, I'd like to introduce some uh, highlights about contemporary art and Chinese artists there. Should be. Uh, he was born in 1955 uh, in Chongqing, China, but moved to uh, Beijing with his parents when he was one year. And uh, um, his parents uh, both worked at Beijing University, the 
His father works at the uh, Department of History, and his mother works at the Department of Libera uh, Liberation. Uh, that's why that's the reason why we can got some information about him and uh, something about history chapters, uh, like libraries, because this is the boy in his life. Um, all the elements uh, about history and appears within each of his works and become the part of his life. Shuvin would be a type typical uh, academician uh, if he hadn't made the Cultural Revolution. His memory get heavy uh, growth during the, mo uh, the movement. Meanwhile, uh, fortunately, the first time Shuvin collected many art uh, catalogs from the friends of his parents, <coughs> those uh, senior, uh, senior uh, in intellectuals, because the revolution uh, not uh, is forbidden to uh, to uh, about the Western uh, catalog and uh, art and uh, uh, culture. Um, he learns much about art by himself. Uh, Xu Bing even was an uh, art instructor when he was in high school uh, and uh, it's a very special chance to give him uh, to give him a chance to enter the car later uh, to finish his BA course and MA course in 1974 uh, there's a command from the government uh, go and walk in the countryside and uh, mountains areas. Shangsheng uh, Xiaosheng. goes the northern mountain area and become a uh, peasant there. And uh, it's a very unique experience to him because he, um, the first time he faced to, uh, he faced directly to some uh, traditional in rural. And uh, finally, he became a student of uh, of the department of uh, creating making uh, in 1977 of Kafa in Beijing, uh, Central Academy of Fine Arts. Uh, at the beginning of Xu Bing's artist life, he is uh, known by rural and creating people by foreign countries. Uh, this one is very famous, uh, the performance named A Case Study of Transference uh, is uh, created in, uh, between 1993 to 1995. Um, the first time is uh, displayed in Beijing, um, Han, Han Ho Art Center, and uh, the materials uh, describe performance Next, the menu installation and uh, leave it fixed. When this work was uh, entirely performed in Beijing, it uh, re uh, revealed an unexpected and surprising dyna uh, dynamic uh, between the audience and the doctors. Um, we can have a look about the two pics. One is uh, one is a uh, fake Chinese uh, chapters in own soul, and another one is a uh, fake English chap uh, chap characters uh, in own ball. And uh, it's um, Xu Bing says uh, his pieces. Uh, these two creatures devoid of human caution, cautionings. Yet carrying on their bodies the marks of human. Uh, civilization uh, engaged in the most primal form of social intercourse. Uh, the uh, absolute uh, directness of this undertaking produces a result that is both uh, unthinkable and worth thinking about. In watching the behavior of the two things, we we are led to reflect on human behavior. People are very excited to look at the performance. <coughs>
and uh, this one is named the book from the sky. Uh, uh, sorry, I think the year of the last thing is run. It's in 19... Yeah, 1990. It's a studio uh, of the book from the sky. And many uh, foreigners uh, can try uh, handwriting and the books about uh, how to write the sky words. And uh, even Western can uh, write in Chinese, but uh, Chinese can, can't read them the uh, real meaning. It's about men, women, children. And you can try later if you are interested in And the uh, very new one, uh, named the background story. Uh, I think this expression uh, is displayed in many uh, venues and uh, museum galleries in the world. This one is in 2011 in Britain Museum. Uh, when you, uh, at the first sight, when you enter the gallery, uh, you think you are looking at uh, a traditional, very traditional Chinese painting, but later, if you go around to a background, you will see the real one. It's a uh, installation and uh, glad, uh, some uh, branches and some uh, you know, paper, some uh, rubbish materials. And uh, there is no really prepare for the exhibition and a book from the ground in two, uh, 2012. Okay, Liu Xiaodong. Liu Xiaodong is the leading of, uh, there's a leading of figure among the Chinese new realistic uh, painters to a manager in the 1990s. He's a adherence to figurative uh, 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 painting amounts to conceptual uh, sense within a uh, contemporary art context where a uh, photographic <coughs> media to the, the, uh, the legacy of Chinese uh, socialist religion is the basement of his style. He compositions a uh, painting uh, with loose uh, paper brushes for uh, strokes and uh, figurate with meaning. As he says, the style of an art should be like breathing. Uh, one breathes in and the breathes out. Uh, real life is his uh, objects art and something about contemporary art in China. Uh, this one is a very new project uh, and he invited by Eden Gallery. <coughs> Just finished in uh, this, uh, this month, I think the 2nd of November, and uh, uh, you can get some details from the website of Lisbon Gallery. Uh, Liu Xiaodong is a very active artist, he not only in painting but also in movies. He, uh, he acts some roles in movies uh, directly by uh, especially uh, directly by uh, Jia Zhang uh, Ke, the leading of the uh, uh, generation director group. Uh, the movies including Dong Xiaowu and something uh, like others, uh, Hong, Hong Tong Boy. Uh, all the pieces are realism but uh, some famous thing about uh, contemporary life. How straight? Uh, for his first exhibition in the UK, the Lisbon uh, Gallery has invited Liu Xiaodong and to produce a new body of work in London for his uh, in great in all the show with the uh, gallery. Over the six weeks, Liu Xiaodong uh, document, documented his uh, encounters with Londoners much as he has done uh, the theory. Uh, focus on three local places, including two parts and one uh, and one Middle Eastern 
restaurant, I think, yes. It, the street is, I think it's uh, Bell Street in London, very close to uh, Lisbon, uh, Lisbon Gallery. And uh, um, it are, Liu Xiaodong uh, produced uh, one year uh, life size oil on tablets and uh, eight uh, erotic photo paintings at each location. This project uh, and uh, um, the style is similar to his other project uh, uh, like Bo Tan, Bo Tian, Bo Tian project and uh, uh, Home Top uh, Boy project, Jin uh, Chen uh, because he born in uh, North uh, in Jin uh, the North uh, Eastern in China, and uh, he returned there and uh, do some uh, interview with his uh, very, you know, fashion, uh, very old friends in his children life, and uh, talk more with them. And most of them, the life is uh, much different with him because he uh, he entered to uh, Kafa and uh, became a becomes an artist. But uh, most of his uh, children friends. Uh, they become uh, workers and uh, uh, they lost their jobs uh, because the develop of this country and uh, he feels that uh, he need to do something about the real life about them so he do a serious project named Home Town Boy and including uh, several paintings, oil paintings, movies and uh, performance there and uh, it's like a documentary, you know, uh, you can uh, get a real feeling and the real life about uh, Chinese people in the last uh, 20 years. And uh, uh, some female artists, and uh, they have uh, some typical, uh, typical detail about the, uh, the uh, um, the famous one, the most famous uh, is Yu Hong, witness to growth. Uh, the starting is began at uh, uh, her boy in Beijing in 1966, the beginning of the uh, Cultural Revolution. And uh, uh, all the pieces is have uh, two parts. One is the uh, history, uh, historical events. Another one is uh, real life of uh, her theory. In 1970, uh, look, uh, on, in each of their hands, they have a little red book. It's uh, some uh, very uh, short uh, notes by a mouth, chair mouth. And there's a child, she don't know what the happened uh, about the real world. But there's a, a student at school, she's um, thinking about something uh, very, uh, very, you know, uh, every uh, Chinese people are, are like the uh, Beijing Opera and uh, uh, they uh, don't. Uh, decorate the uh, post uh, in, in their family uh, uh, on the wall of the house and uh, each of the uh, children uh, under, uh, they grow at the background. In 1974, it's, uh, it's the end of the, it's a peak, I think, it's a peak of the uh, uh, Cultural Revolution. But it is the beginning of uh, to herself is uh, she start to learn uh, painting. And the year uh, Chair Mao death. And in uh, in that year she met Liu Xiaodong, uh, he, uh, her husband, the in front of the boy. And uh, <coughs> the family planning, very famous, uh, on the left side. Uh, each, each 
family uh, could have one child, as you know. And uh, in 1985, it's very popular in China, the blending, uh, dancing, and uh, this whole club there. And uh, the, uh, she uh, began the relationship with Liu Xiaodong at that time. In 1987, it's a uh, viral director in Dashanali. And in high school of Kata, <coughs> 1989. Uh, <coughs> that is Liu about Liu Xiaodong. Very uh, main part of uh, Roman life. Um, 1992 is uh, reform and open in China from Shenzhen area. And in that year, she met with Liu Xiaodong. And uh, the marketing and uh, the marketing economic uh, is shocked to uh, uh, Chinese uh, Chinese people's life. And in 1994, it's the starting of uh, immigrate uh, in China. Many citizens uh, they move to uh, urban and uh, find uh, there are new lives in the city. And uh, it's um, reflect to it's a threat, reflect to uh, until now. And in 1994, she got the baby. And 1997. Uh, Hong Kong returned to China. You know, there's a child. Uh, this one is her daughter. And uh, there's a child. She doesn't know uh, real happen in the world. And uh, just like uh, the child, uh, a new home career. And, and in 1998, uh, the five food, uh, foods uh, in China. In that, in that year, I uh, Anto Kafa. So it's very uh, impressive memory to myself. And the uh, 20, uh, 2001, okay. And uh, uh, she graduated uh, uh, from the MA course of uh, Kafa. And uh, the right one is uh, her daughter, the baby grow up. And uh, very, uh, yeah, this one is a uh, 3D marketing house property. Shi Hui uh, lives in Hangzhou. Uh, she, she's a very famous sculpture and uh, <coughs> she focuses on finding uh, different uh, materials uh, such as uh, textile and uh, something uh, smooth, uh, soft and smooth. Uh, and uh, to insulate, uh, to insert them into insulation and structure. And uh, some paper, uh, the right one and the left one, you know it's very hard, it's a very strong, but it's made of uh, paper. When we have, when we had uh, an exhibition in Dublin in two, uh, mm -hmm. 2003 in Dublin, uh, she, uh, her installation uh, moved to Dublin and it's destroyed. But we no worry about that because uh, later when artists uh, arrive there, she can uh, rebuild it uh, by cooking, you know, cook the uh, papers into a new materials and uh, make a new one. in Shanghai. You know, uh, there are some unique materials used by uh, uh, female artists in China. And the uh, fashion with uh, video artwork, Zhang Jie sculpture about baby and body of uh, women. And Xiang Jing.
So we can find some uh, very similar uh, elements about uh, female artists in China. They always focus on children, baby uh, bodies. It's uh, yeah. And uh, this one is a very big one. It's uh, displayed in the portrait of uh, that very new project in Shanghai. In children, she focuses on uh, traveling, and uh, because she always uh, looks in the world and uh, something about house. House is a very uh, important part in Chinese Chinese life. It's very uh, expensive now in China, but people have to uh, rent or buy one for their, themselves because uh, everyone wants to sit down. And the memory and song. Uh, vision art is a simple and a direct mode to record the history and memory. Many Chinese contemporary arts try to find a unique technique or expression to present their understanding about this history, this history including themselves and the national itself. A uh, example about Hai Bo. Um, he, all of his artworks are photography and uh, it's very unique uh, angle to the people. Uh, just like the before and after. And sometimes you, you, you could find it Someone is killed because of death. And we can't catch uh, everything in the life. It's not about, uh, not only about artists, uh, artists uh, themselves, uh, also about the national. Of family. People look uh, similar but different in different color. Uh, and memories about uh, some uh, land, some land uh, landmark in city, such as in uh, Beijing, Beihai, Beihai Park. Some uh, about you, you can you can have a look uh, uh, just like uh, take a picture uh, by camera. Uh, there are some things focus on uh, the highlight in the photography, but something is not very clear in the in the photos. And Liu Ye, I love his uh, pieces because uh, you could feel happiness. <coughs> Thank you. 